This is tutorial 7, case problem 4. You'll find this on page 460 of your textbook. Start by opening a file called HATS Starter File, and then do a file Save As. Save it in the same Case 4 folder, and just call it HATS. Go to the documentation sheet and fill in your name as the author in cell B3 and today's date in cell B4. Move to the Invoice Worksheet. And in your textbook, we're going to pick up with Step 4, Letter C. 4C asks us to use a function to insert the current date. So place your cursor in G7 and type equal today. Open and close paren. Move to the Sold To section and type in the address and name given to you on page 462. Once you have that information typed in, return to cell B10 and insert a comment. Just right-click on the cell and choose Insert Comment. Now whatever name appears at the top can be erased if you wish. And then here we're going to remind the user to fill in the name in cell B10, address in B11, and city state zip in B12. Once you click away from that cell, for step 4E, we're going to use data validation rules to create a list of the different types of hats, uh, fabrics, and colors and sizes. So that information, those data validation rules, will go here. So here we're going to go to data, data validation, and we're going to create a list. So choose list under settings. Now the source of the list will be the product information sheet, and so the first one is the um, hat type. So we'll just highlight those two. Now you'll notice that when you put your cursor on uh, cell C15, you have a drop down arrow. And so we can choose our hat type from there. Move down to the fabric cell or C16, and we're going to do data validation. So data, data validation. And again, we will be choosing from a list and the source of that list will be the fabric, or cells A7 to A9. Now you can put in an input message and an error alert. Just to save time, I'm going to omit those in the video. So click OK, and now we can choose the fabric for our first hat, which uh, according to figure 478 is a tweed. Do the same thing for color, data validation, list, the source is the product information, and then highlight the colors. And again, you can fill out the input and the error alert. And the color is navy blue. And we'll do it again, repeat that, data validation. This is a list, and the source is in the product information. And sizes are all listed here. The size in our sample is a medium. Time to save your file. Do a control S and save your file. And now we're going to move on to step 4F. They want us to create defined names for the data on the invoice. So I'm thinking that this is probably a good idea to pick that up. So we'll go to formulas, create from selection, and I'm going to use the data in the left column to name or define the name for the information in the right. So we'll click OK, and if you go to your name manager, you'll now have those four. Similarly, you could do some other range names, like let's range name all of these cells. So we'll go to the formulas, create from selection, and use the left column. This could be range named, for example, uh, name. So let's use the name box and just type name and press enter. This could be called address, and this will call city state zip, and then this we're going to call unit price, 
and this is going to be where the surcharge, if any, is listed. So let's name that surcharge. We're going to need a heading here, or I'll just type it in. So we've got a little heading here. And so now we can begin to um, fill in some of the information. So it looks like all of the hats are priced at $75 unless they um, use a certain kind of fabric and then we have to add a surcharge. So this unit price is going to be equal to, let's go over to our product information, and here's your standard price, $75. And then if there's a surcharge, that's going to have to be determined based on uh, the criteria. And the criteria is if, it's, if they use felt. So let's do an equal if. So if the fabric is equal to felt, then we're going to charge the surcharge. I'll get that later. I think it was $15. Otherwise, we're not going to charge anything. And of course, this one is not felt. Let me double check that price. Yeah, the surcharge was $15. So let's see, if we change this fabric to felt, then the surcharge pops up. So good. And then to calculate the subtotal, we would add the unit price. And you can see this pops up, and you can just click that plus the surcharge. Okay, I see a problem with the surcharge. This is going to have to be not a blank, but a zero. Otherwise, we're going to get that error. So the unit price plus the surcharge. Sales tax, so this is just going to be equal to the subtotal times 6.5%. And shipping is going to be equal to and I guess shipping is always $15. And then we're going to sum these up. And so we're summing subtotal tax and shipping. And that uh, grand total turns out to be $94.88. So a good time to save your file with a control S. I will make a second video that picks up on step five and goes through the finish.